That's football. You never know what's going to happen. And now I'm going to be managed by a championship manager. Bruv. <laughs> Bonjour, guten Tag. What's up, bruv? Guys, what a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. Today, another day. Tomorrow, we have a match. And actually, today is going to be an exciting day because we are on our way to training. And I had a nice breakfast, as usual. But actually, what happened is that we have a new manager, or we're going to have a new manager, as the manager who signed me resigned. So we've been told that today we're going to meet our new manager. So I'm really excited who it's going to be because always with new managers, like you never know what's going to happen. And I just hope that I impress him because always when you have new managers, you need to impress him as well because obviously he's not the person who signed you. Like he doesn't know you. He might have seen some clips of like of me playing because I played the last game like as you've seen 20 minutes and I think I did quite well but you never know so it's all about having a good first training session having a good first impression maybe I'm gonna ask him look like obviously what do you want me to do what do you want me to do? I need to press defenders or do I need to get back and just let the back three or back four like play like those kind of things like always try to try to get in contact, try to make a first impression with the new manager. Try to ask him like, um, look, what sort of role do you see me and this and that. So it's going to be exciting. The time now is 8.45. So, we're going to be there for 9 o'clock start. And we go from there. But those days, like, when you have new managers, those, like, I just always think, please, 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 let him like me. Please, God, please. But everything happens for a reason. That's what I always think. Because when I was at Truro, a new manager came in because at the beginning I was not even in the squad but then through hard training he put me on the bench and then I started so you need to work hard the work never stops always need to work hard but let's do it training it's gonna be my protein shake with bread and this bread is so good because it has proteins 6.2 grams per slice scandalous scandalous holy bread so good with hummus Cucumber and some vegan slices of ham. Good training session, and now I'm back at the library where I used to go like nearly all the time I try to at least because I'm reading right now I'm reading a biography Ian Wright former Arsenal footballer and those by auto auto biographies so interesting always to see an inside view of what they think 
like what they've been through through different situations and as there is a match tomorrow i try to get my head already towards the game so i'm gonna do later on when we are back in the house i'm gonna cook something of course but i'm gonna try to analyze the opponent like their team what type of players do they have how many wins how many games did they lose i try to really analyze like our opponents and i try to really watch football games of players that i look up to of players that that really are in my position and that i can learn something so that's what i do as well because tomorrow is going to be a big match big match obviously we have a new manager now a new manager that means all the cards are like i don't know how you say it like it's new cards new luck new chances so all the focus to the match tomorrow because it's important we need to win it's a home game and we need to win three points three points and as we have a new manager it's literally in this book of ian wright it says the same when arsenal was introduced like that first speech is the point at which players make their first real assessment of any new coach coming in yes it's going to be an instant judgment but really this is where you start to size him up same with us today new manager came in gave a speech and you judge him on what he says like first impression counts obviously but my first impression is like he knows exactly what he wants and because he's a championship manager last season imagine second division guys I'm gonna be coached by a manager who managed West Bromwich Albion last season championship they've been in the playoffs to go to the Premier League rough like now it's, it's just sometimes it feels like it's unreal but that's football you never know what's going to happen and now I'm gonna be managed by a championship manager bruv <laughs> So today on the menu is going to be broccoli with some pepper, mushroom, tofu and some baked sweet potatoes. It's healthy carbohydrates, especially the day before a match. Carbohydrates need to be up there. So I'm going to enjoy this healthy food. Mm. There we go. So after food, while my hot bath is running, because I'm gonna have a hot bath now before the match to just relax my muscles, we're gonna do an ab workout. So let's do it quick and then to be ready for the match. hot baths hot baths best thing ever and for me the best thing to do before a match like your muscles they are just so relaxed and just so nice just lay down in your hot bath and just read a book or something else just focus on your match like oh that's the best thing literally and i feel so so good but ready for tomorrow and now as we have a new manager like when you have a new manager obviously you need to impress him and 
he might know you, he might not know you. In my case, he don't know me. He don't know what I've been through. He don't know what I've been like, like what I've done, where I played before, or maybe he's done some research, but I'm, I'm not really sure. But all I want is just impressing, impressing him that he starts me because that's what I want. I want to play. But I still need to keep working hard. I still need to give it my all. And I think the manager makes decisions for the sake of the team. So regardless if I play, if I start the game or not, like I'm always there for the team. And that's what the most important thing is. The whole team It's not about each and it's not about individual players. It's about the whole team. And our squad is very strong. Even though we lost the couple last games but our squad is very strong and I think we just need that little bit of luck to to not hit the post to like score a goal actually but it will come and maybe it's it, it comes with the new manager because that's what most of the time happens when a new manager somehow the team does well and it gives us a push and yeah, that's that's like the new manager effect. But we're ready. We're ready to go for the match, and I'm looking forward to it as it's another home game. And when the supporters are going to be same as they were two or three days ago at our home match where we drew one one against Gateshead, I think this will be amazing. So I'm really looking forward to see our fans because. Home matches are always the best and we have a crowd like 1,500 people watching our games like in our stadium is just so nice so I really enjoy it but all the focus to the match hopefully we're going to win fingers crossed but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video make sure you subscribe if you haven't already smash that like button guys keep in mind when you believe Everything is mm, possible. So team run now. Mm, I'll see you tomorrow.